I want to make a couple of videos about jobs, focused on remote Scala jobs, of course, because, well, this is mostly a Scala channel and we live in a post-pandemic world. This one is going to be specifically about where you can search and I will even tell you exactly where I found my last couple of clients. The last item on this list might even surprise you. Let's roll the intro. Vlad here from devinsideview.com, welcome to another video. Before we get into it though, could you please help me fix this? We're on the road to 10k subs and you guys could make it happen today if you really wanted to. And while you're at it, could you please also hit the like button, it's a really easy way to show your support. Thank you. Cool, I've gathered a couple of stats for you, but these kind of stats are hard to come by, so please take them with a grain of salt. It's estimated that there is more than a million Scala devs out there and somewhere between 1 and 10k Scala companies. I know it's a big range, but it's the best I could get for you. There are about 60k Scala job posts on LinkedIn, which is a little bit high in my opinion, and the number of the average applicants to a job is well under 100, so your chances of getting one aren't that bad actually. Alright, now I have a list of places for you to search, which includes job boards, recruit agencies and more. As we move on through the list, I will also point out which of them I personally used and even how I found my recent clients. In fact, maybe let's sum up my CV real quick. I got into Scala in 2010. I was doing my bachelor's at the time. My first Scala job started at 2013 and I got it by writing my master's thesis for a Scala company and they employed me afterwards. I stayed with them for around six years after which I took a break for almost a year. Afterwards, I became a freelancer and found my first remote client and fortunately it was during the pandemic year and so when it hit they laid off half of the company and so I barely stayed with them for 11 months. Another short break and I found my current client that I've been with them for almost two years at this point. All right now we're trying to focus on remote jobs because for local Scala jobs you can pretty much type Scala plus the name of the city into Google. In fact this is how I found my original job, technically the only job that I had all those years ago. Cool let's run through this list real quick right after the message from our sponsors which is awesome people like yourself, people who support me on Patreon. All the money goes back into this channel, it allows me to pay for a video editor who frees some of my time which I usually choose to spend again with you whether it's during live streams or answering your questions on Discord. There's many of you and only one of me, so every dollar counts. Thank you. In fact, this video is not sponsored by any job recruiting agency or any job board on this list. However, I have to start with a huge shout out to Scala Jobs, scalajobs.com. All the links are going to be down in the description. It's the first place you should look at both as a job seeker as well as a job offer, if that's even a word. Scala Jobs is different from all of the other job boards or recruiting agencies because it's run by us, the programmers. Two programmers, Alex Garella and Julian Truffaut. I probably butchered his name. Sorry. All right, now apart from being just a job board, it is slowly becoming a really cool recruiting agency. According to their recent Reddit post, among many other things, you get free interview, career, and job application guidance, as well as job market and CV advice. You also get free training courses for juniors or Scala newcomers. It's the foundations to a functional programming and Scala course created by Julian, which usually costs 299 British pounds. And you get it for free if you're a junior or, by the way, don't overlook this part, a Scala newcomer. You also get free job posts for entry-level positions, especially the last one is sick. Contrary to popular belief, companies actually do hire junior Scala developers and now if you're a company who hires Scala juniors, you can even do it for free on scalajobs.com. The last time I was looking for clients, Scala Jobs was just starting out, but I can't wait to use it the next time I'm looking for new opportunities. The next place you should look at is a recently founded company called You Matter, which is not exclusive for Scala, but it is very interested in Scala for sure. They recently created a sub-company, I guess, and they called it Scala Matters. It was a lot of resources and, as you can imagine, Scala Jobs was one of them. You Matter was actually founded by an ex-Signify guy, and unless you're completely new to Scala, you must have heard of Signify, which has been the biggest player in Scala recruiting for years. I've talked to many Signify representatives over the years, and even though I personally know people who have been recruited through them successfully and happily recruited, I never had any luck. In fact, I'm a little worried about them because they seem to have somewhat of a cutthroat culture. Every recruiter seems to be on their own, so your experience might differ vastly depending on who you're talking to. Also, each recruiter seems to be responsible for a different market. There's one for EU, another one for US, a third one for short-term contracts, and a fourth one for the long-term contracts. 
you get the idea. By the way, I tried and largely failed to order this list for you guys, but believe me when I say that even the last item on this list should not be overlooked. You never know where your future lies. And another, by the way, the obvious sites like LinkedIn and gazillions of other sites like Indeed or Upwork are not on this list, with a couple of exceptions, of course. Coming right up, Functional Works, which started as a regular recruiting agency, I believe, but over time it seems to have evolved into a fully automated job board. I don't have much to say about it, so let's move on to the next item on the list. HN Hiring, which is an index of jobs from Hacker News's who is hiring posts. This one is somewhat of a hidden gem and this is actually the one where I found my previous client a couple of years ago. The only downside is that it doesn't refresh often enough in my opinion, at least it didn't back in the day. It's essentially a scraper of Hacker News, which brings me to Hacker News even though I mentioned that I wouldn't mention the obvious sites. Hacker News is, well, I guess I don't have to explain to you what Hacker News is. Every month there is a recurring post which is always titled the same with the name of the month and the year. In fact, there are two and if you wanted to find them, you need to type the following into your search engine or that one if you wish to let people know that you're searching. I've never done it though so I don't know how good it is. Oh and once you're there you kind of need to go control F and search for Scala because it's not a proper job board, it's a forum. You know what Hacker News is, don't you? Now since we started diving into forums, let's talk about the Scala subreddit which has a pin post called who is hiring. And since you are on Scala subreddit anyway, you might notice the second post, which is not pinned, but for some reason it stays at the top, which talks about the fact that Discord is Scala's official chat platform. Now, what a lot of programming Discord servers do is have a dedicated channel for job posts. In fact, Discord recently released a cool feature called forums, and I'm sure that those channels will be converted to forums at some point. Now, the first Discord server that you should join is obviously mine, and I'm not saying it just because I want more people there even though I do, it's because in my welcome channel I have the links to all the other Discord servers and if one of them is missing, if you're running a Discord server that is related to Scala, feel free to let me know and I'll add it to the list. So yeah, jump through them and look for those jobs channels. My server has two dedicated channels, in fact I recently converted them to forums for job searches and you know job offers and uh, at the moment of this recording all the other Scala servers have dedicated job channels as well. Alright, now the last item on the list is actually where I found my recent client and by the way all of my recent videos contain a work with me section in the description but we recently stopped hiring and it's too many descriptions to update. I'm sure that we will stop hiring at some point eventually anyway. Cool, are you ready? It's a Gitter channel, which unfortunately doesn't exist because Gitter is dying a very slow and agonizing death. But I'm not super worried because I'm sure that it moved to one of those jobs channels on Discord. Anyways, back then one of my future colleagues posted a job offer and the rest is history. Alright, that's the end of my list and don't forget to subscribe because I'm planning to make a couple more job related videos. Before I go, I should mention that there are a couple of what I like to call team extension consultancies that you might consider working for. These are Software Mill, Scala C, and Zyverge of course, and all the links are going to be down in the description. Really, all the links. And one very last thing that you could do, especially if you have somewhat of a following, you can just tweet that you're searching for a job. And if you don't have a following, then tweet at Scala Jobs or even at me and I'll retweet it, assuming that it's a little bit more interesting than please hire me. Cool, I see you in the next one and for now as always, it's been Vlad from devinsideyou.com. Don't forget to like this video if you did, subscribe if you want to improve the developer inside you and if you wish to contribute to free tech education, please consider doing so on Patreon or on GitHub sponsors and watch my videos before everyone else. And most importantly, take care. Hacker news is... Hacker news is... It's like I wrote it in such a way that I would never say in real life.